this is CY once again. Uh, it's really night time in Singapore, coming to 9 p.m. And uh, in, the, in the afternoon, I've installed uh, the Flow Profile Kit on my lap phone. And now I'm just going to do a quick video on uh, how the pressure cage is. And also bidding farewell to my niche zero. Right, I've sold my niche, niche zero. So I'll no longer be keeping it because um, it is really underused. Uh, I don't actually don't need a conical burr grinder, right? Because I have all my uh, hand grinder up there, right? You can see uh, where is it? Oh, it's here. Ah, there, right? This is the mill right. This is the easy presso, and this is the commandante, right? So if I need conical gr uh, blade grinder, I'll just use uh, use those conical burr grinder, right? So. Uh, this will be the last time you'll be seeing it on my video right after that uh, you'll be gone and uh, I'll just be using uh, my DS64 uh, as well as my uh, tool grinder there right this is the K90 and this is the RW64 uh, W the weight dosing one and this is the 83 mm flapper right so I'll be using those grinder and if ever I need a conical one right I'll just use my hand, hand grinder and I don't really use hang uh, conical blade grinder, uh, conical burr grinder for espresso anyway, right? So uh, let's see how the uh, pressure gauge perform, right? Right, just install it, and uh, let's pull a shot and see how it goes. So we'll be using. Um, let's try to use the coffee bean that I uh, roasted yesterday. Right, it's, I know it's very fresh. Right, this is actually the uh, small uh, small lot uh, farming from Costa Rica, which I recently won in the Singapore uh, Coffee Association bidding. Uh, there's actually an auction going on, so I, I managed to bid a lot of this uh, together with my other friends, uh, Jensen and the company. So uh, I've roasted this, I roasted about 400 grams, and uh, let's try to taste uh, the coffee. Uh, it's a bit too fresh, but let's just give you a try. So I'll be using about um, 14 grams, as usual. Oh, <laughs> one scoop is about 20 grams. Okay, now I know. So I'm just going to aim for 14 grams. Okay. Okay, that's just nice 14, uh, 14 grams exactly. Alright, so uh, I'm still be using my DF64 as my main espresso grinder. And uh, I'm going to do a video on uh, what is my final thoughts on the DS64 with all the mods I have. Uh, and I'll, I'll also be opening my grinder to let you see the condition of my grinder inside. As far as the uh, what kind of mod I use for the declumper and my final version of it. Right, so three blows is what I need right, to get all the coffee ground out. So let's do a measure measurement. Right, it's about 13.9 grams, right? So it retains about 0 0.1, which is pretty good. Okay, so let's get uh, prepare my bottle filter. I use the dosing funnel that I've designed. This will be the last time I'm going to use this, right? So uh, I'm going to do one which is uh, more 
whereby the needles can extend longer into the coffee pot. When I designed this, I designed in such a way that uh, the temper can reach all the way into the polar filter and then do a tap. So, right, it's pretty nice and flat. If I remember correctly, uh, one of my uh, viewers says that I should lift up the group heat. Okay, right now my group heat is only at about 70 degrees Celsius. So I would like to bring the group heat up to temperature. So I'm just going to do a few dry pump. Right, so the temperature will be going up uh, pretty fast. Right now it's about 74, 75 degrees Celsius. Right, it's down at 80. Okay, so it should go all the way up to 90. Okay, so it's now at 90. So, um, I think what I'll do is I'll leave up my uh, lever and then I'm going to insert my polyfilter and I'm going to lock it. Right, and now it's at 92 degrees Celsius. So I'm just going to put my uh, weighing scale, my cup, let's zero it, start the timer, engage the lever, right, observe the pressure, pressure gauge, it actually goes up slightly to about one bar and I'll be waiting for the first drop. Right, I can see the first drop there and I'm just going to pull down and you can see that oh it's leaking out right so probably I have to okay maybe my gasket is not installed properly so I'm going to check that out later on or maybe because my polar filter didn't engage fully ah okay Okay, so let me wipe it down. So this sort of thing can happen, right? Because I've just recently just installed the uh, new pro pressure profiling kit. So I'm still in the testing phase. Okay, let's try another shot. Right, the part is pretty dry. Okay, it's pretty clean, so let's prepare another shot. Okay, I think I'll not use this. I think this is too fresh and it generates too much carbon dioxide. So let me use, uh, since it's a night, I'll use a decaf. So let's measure again 14 grams of coffee beans. What exactly 14 grams?
three pounds. Let's measure again. Right, it's about 14 grams exactly. So uh, there's zero retention over there. Okay, my powder filter is still pretty hot. Right, I'll not be using the WTT tools. I'm just going to do it with a tap and then I'll tamp it down. Right, I'm not going to push very hard. A twist. And this is the puck. It's pretty good. Okay, I'm trying to lock it. Let's get a cup. Start the timer. And then I'm going to leave up. Right, observe the pressure proof the pressure gauge here. Okay, I can see the drip is coming out, so I'm gonna pull down. Right, I'm only able to get about six bars of pressure. Okay, but I think uh, this is my first test, uh, second test on the machine with a pressure profiling kit. So I think that's good enough for today. Right, and I will not be using the uh, steam one on the La Pavoni to do the steaming. Right, I'll be using the steam one on my quick meal. Right, so I'll bring you over to my quick meal and do the steaming over there. I'll be using a slightly larger milk jug. And I'm going to try... Um, the organic bio dairy free barista rebel kitchen right milk blend on plants and taste like milk i'm not too sure whether it's really tasting my milk but i'm just going to try this the color is not exactly like milk it is a bit like uh, oat milk i think right it's a bit um Slightly a tint of a brown, a light brown color, right? Let me show you what I mean, right? Can you see the color? Yeah, it's uh, not as white as the milk. So let me first perch it. Right, the steam, mo the steam power on the quick meal Rubino is a monster. So let me get this out of the way. quite a lot of bubbles. Okay, let me push this. Mm, okay. The cup is too small. I'm going to transfer to a larger cup. Okay, let's try. Okay, it looks a bit funny, but I oh know that's the uh, best I can do on this uh, um, organic, non dairy kind of milk. So let's give you a taste.
So I have make an onion, right? Uh, I'm not too sure how long the form can stay, right? And this because this is a plant-based one and not a dairy based. So let me quickly taste it and see how it goes. Cheers. Hmm, I would I would say that it is very I'm I'm surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised. This actually tastes quite good. Ah. It is slightly sweeter. Mm, I kind of like this. Uh, so good job, right? Uh, I think uh, even though it's quite expensive, but I'm gonna try it again, right? So uh, it seems to work well on the uh, my uh, decaf. So it's a good drink, right? Uh, t really tasty. Uh, uh, doesn't have the uh, the fragrance of the milk, uh, but uh, tastes really good. So thank you for joining me. Right, this is CY once again. Um, if uh, again, if you are first time joining my channel, right, my channel is all about having fun making coffee, and uh, we attempted to use uh, uh, the milk from a plant plant based source, right, organic. I believe uh, James Hoffman is actually the. Uh, I think he's the. He sort of uh, advertised for this milk, uh, but I tried it because I want to try a plant-based one. I've tried others, but it doesn't really fit my taste. But this one seems to be uh, working quite well, right? So, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, remember to subscribe to my channel. So give my video a thumbs up if you can, right? And I will see you very soon. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna be farewell to my niche, niche zero, right? Uh, this will be my last time. It will be featured in my video. And uh, I will not be able to unbox Bianca so soon because I've sold my remaining stock of Bianca. So now I have no Bianca with me anymore. Uh, so we have to wait for my stock to come in again. Right, so uh, let's see, right? So thank you for joining me. Stay safe and see you very soon.